All right, what is up, my friends? <laughs> Welcome to the early access stream where everything goes wrong and the and the uh, the decks are made up and nothing actually works. But that's okay. That's okay. This is technically deck eleven um, because we've had two decks now not work. One because I my judges told me the wrong ruling when I built the deck. Outlaws merriment. And I'm, I'm sorry. Um, Offspring's revenge. That's my fault. Then we tried to play Brian Gottlieb's Oops All Lands deck, and that didn't work because Lithomancer, Nahiri's Lithomancing is bugs, where if you sack a, a flip land, you don't draw a card. <laughs> so, <laughs> what's up, Mighty Linguini? Thank you for the raid. I appreciate that. Uh, the stream's crashed like 15 times. Uh, we're just trying to get through here. We're going to do it. So, we got to build another deck live on stream after this one to make up for a 10th brew. We always do 10 new brews in the early access stream. Big thanks to Wizards for the... Uh, for the, uh, the, the, whatever the hell they do for me. And um, let's just do it, all right? This is deck number nine slash 11. Is it draw? So, got a lot of new cards here. Most of, the coolest one here is Magmatic Channeler. This is a two mana wizard, it's a one three. And you can discard a card and tap it to exile the top two and pick one, which is cool. So, kind of like a super loot, a honestly. <laughs> Thanks, Optimator. I appreciate that. And then also, once there are four more instant, instant or sorcery cards in your graveyard, it's a 4-4. So it's a beater. So it's like a Tarmogoyf, like Jace Varin's Prodigy kind of split card. That's great. We have Snapcaster Mage. Right? Snapcaster Mage. Anyone? Eh? In Seagate Stormcrawler, a 2-1. You can copy spells uh, when it comes into play. We have a bunch of cheap spells here. Shock, Opt. Um, Riel the Everwise. This card we actually played... Uh, in our last early access stream, it was really good, but never really had like a home. Uh, but now we have, you know, we have Thrill of Possibility and stuff like that. Uh, it's a Fairy Master of Time. Uh, seems like it might might be the spot for it um, because we're discarding cards to our Channeler. We could draw off that. Discard to Royal Scions. Discard to Fairy. So a good amount of discard here. Uh, Thrill of Possibility to trigger Ariel and draw a lot of cards. We have Frantic Inventory, uh, Puts the Thunder Raptor, just, like a, just your usual blue-red spells deck. And we are playing one copy of Casual's Fury to fling the Riel, and of course Royal Silence can give it Trample as well. Um, playing two copies of Spike Field Hazard to kill those Lotus Cobras, as long as our shocks. That's the deck. Let's battle. Um, a lot of new cards here. This is a you know one of my 10 new brews. We played all these decks so far. Um, two of them didn't work. That one and this one. Uh, the kids aren't all right, but that's okay. We're good. Uh, we'll just build another deck. We'll just keep going until the end of time. All right, streams brought to you by uh, Coalesce Apparel, coalesceapparel.shop. Check out our shirts. Mad comfortable. Super comfortable. Super nice. Coalesceapparel.shop. Promo code Jim 10 10% off your order. Coalesceapparel.shop. All right? Let's uh, let's see what we can do here. Let's see what we can do here. And uh, it stands fine. We can keep. Discarding a inventory to a thrill possibility is pretty good. A little scry action. Bottom. Ideas what I'm going to brew? No, you're, you're all going to have to help me. All right, I need some help. Ooh, that's pretty good. All right, so let's play lands they go. We can thrill discarding inventory, and then we have inventory for two, which is awesome. Luminarch Aspirant, sure. What's up, Stanley? Chandler. We're already halfway to our Chandler being a 4-4. Four -four. Jim is trapped in a Sleafian nightmare where he builds decks that don't work until the gods let him go free. Yeah, basically. Um, we need to find a way to kill this. We can't let this get big or we can't actually kill it. I think we're just going to opt here and try and find a, uh, a removal spell. And then we'll play... I feel like we could actually frantic inventory for a shock. But then we're not adding a threat to the board. So let's just play opt. And that's not a kill spell. And that's not a kill spell. Alright, so... Play island, play channeler. It's almost a 4-4, four -four, so... We have a lot of removal in our deck, but it's all pretty small ball. We do have three copies of, uh, ugh, three copies of, um, Splits of a Thunder Raptor in our deck, but, all right, no blocks. Another Channeler. All right, so we're going to discard Temple of Epiphany here and try and hit off Channeler, I suppose. Um, and we're going to draw a Blitz of a Thunder Raptor and cast it and kill both their creatures. All right, that's the plan. Okay? That's the plan. Let's do it. We, we, we had a Jace deck. 
Fury and Spike Field Hazard. Um, so we can sack the channel. That doesn't even work. Oh man, that's terrible. No, I guess I can Seagate Stormcaller and copy the thing. So sure, it's actually kind of fine. Um. effect so cast this do one here copy it so that's like fine it's not exactly what you're looking for but goodbye to that make that a 4-4 play this is a red land we're gonna say go um need to find a way to deal with this but we got tarmac weapon snapcaster mage right oh my god they're so big um and Stone Coil Serpent. Stone Coil Serpent is fine, I guess. So they pumped that. Sure. Okay. Thrill possibility. Um. All right. I think we're just gonna draw two. We can draw some kill spells here. I mean, like we, our deck has a lot of a lot of removal in it. We've just not really found any, and we need to. Uh, quick, because we are dying. That's not any removal spells. We can thrill for a shock, I guess. Um, I guess if we like, I guess if we um, we find a riel, we can maybe like trample over for a big swing. Is to fairy? I think the fairy's too bad. Just shovel just here that's a fairy. Land shock. <laughs> oh boy, you're killing me. You're really killing me here. Um Alright, let's just say go, I guess. Feldar Retreat. That's interesting. We're super dead. We are we are deader than dead. Um, yeah, we're super dead. All right. Um, big creatures line up well against shocks. Big creatures line up well against shocks. Um, one of the problems is that decks tend to have is they just spin their wheels a little bit. Definitely spun our wheels a lot that game. We do have like a lot of removal. You know, like we are playing, like, I mean, we've got four shock, two hazard, three blitz. That's not like a ton, I guess, but that's okay. Keep going, keep going, Just try again, Just try again. It's fine. If you're watching on Twitch, make sure you hit that follow button. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for sticking with me um, with this this uh, just rocky road here on uh, on early access stream. It's supposed to be my most important piece of content, and uh, when the ISP tries to sabotage it, I want to sabotage them. This is our ninth deck slash 11th deck. So we're going to build a deck on stream for our, our last deck. Oh my god. Oh my god. This deck might need more removal. Um, honestly, Blitz of Thunder Raptor is really good. All right, so we're going to mulligan this. Uh, just double tap land. A bunch of four mana spells. This is much better. We can keep this. I think we're going to ship the inventory. Um... All right, so channel arch pretty good. Passage is really awkward. It's a land, but it's tap land. Um, I kind of maybe actually just get rid of it. I just don't want to tap land at all. It doesn't really help me. So we're playing channel our next turn. Just find a non-tap land if possible. All right, so they're playing some regrowth lands. Sure. I mean, we're just going to play Channeler. What are they up to over there? Plants of Forests, sure. What else are you up to? A Scoot Swarm? Not on my watch. Um... We're going to Channeler, and we're going to discard. Pr 
Probably the... No, Resilience is good with the Riel. Maybe we just cast Riel, right? I don't care if they make a 1-1, one, one, whatever. Yeah, we'll just cast Riel. Um... Once Riel gets going, it's like pretty sick, so... They make a 1-1, one, one, whatever. It's not really that relevant yet. That was cool. Rail's one of those cards where you see it and you're like, this card's really good, but it just like never saw any play. Vastwood Surge. Uh... Hello, darkness, my old friend. Who didn't see that coming? Um... We could have discarded the draw with Riel. Yeah, I guess we could have just looted instead of attacking for one. <laughs> I think it's I think it's okay. We have Snapcaster. Uh, we can kill some of them. Um, <laughs> Alright, we're gonna discard Thrill Possibility and see what our top cards are. Justice served, yeah, I guess. Draw off that, revealing Teferi and Mountain. Teferi might be too slow here. Um, as I'm sure as hell not playing it. Oh, I put the... I hit the wrong card. Whatever. I don't care. Uh, play Stormcaller. Play Shock. Copy it. Kill this. Meant to take the land, obviously just misclicked, it's fine, it's not a big deal, everything's cool, everything's cool, everything's cool! What's Blitz do? Kills things. Kills them dead. It's a really good card, honestly. So, as long as I don't play a bunch of lands this turn, we can like double kill, or we can't double kill, but maybe we can just Scions, Riel, and kill them, honestly. What's up, Ember? It's going. All right, so they're just literally playing like Scoot Swarm and like lands. Blitz is the bacon bolt we deserve. Yeah, definitely. Oh my god, they're gonna have so many one ones. Such hubris. Such hubris. <laughs> oh man. Like, if we just killed it, like, none of their cards do anything. Also, all I've done is get land so far. Getting scooted. Opponents playing Zerglings. They're going to recover a, 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 another scoot. Alright, I mean... I don't I don't see how we ever win. Spike field hazard. So we're just like gonna try and stem the tide of scoots here. Draw for that. Opt. Okay. Um We can pitch the opt and try and uh, do something. I don't know. Another real or a blitz. Or I'll take the blitz. We can't even use it anyways. What's the matter? Want to buy one plague engineer? Yeah, definitely. I mean, again, Royal Scions giving this trample could maybe could maybe win the day. New cards are good. A lot of, a lot of, new, a lot of good new cards. All right, so now they have three of these. It's a Scoot Swarm theme deck. Oh, no.
Oh, bugs, bugs, please, somebody help me, please. Bugs, not the bees. Yeah, massacre would be cool. All right, we got a spike field hazard. Um, We're really stemming the tide here, you know? Uh, all right, so 20? Yeah, I mean, they play a land next turn. I it's gonna, I think that Arena Crashing is our best chance to win this game. My answers lie in the cold truth. <laughs> Oh man. Why did I draw off this thing? Oh, the first time he churned. Oh, okay. That's fair. I didn't even know that. Um Yeah. I guess we're gonna I They have seven. They can just kill. And I, I don't know how we ever win this game. Like, I guess we have the fling somewhere in our deck. They're going to kill Scions here. Uh, we do have the fling. We can still win. We have one fling in our deck. Um, we have a second Scions to give this trample. But, like, they're going to have a hundred tokens in play next turn, probably. So... This allows you to copy the next cheap spell you play, two or less. Oh god. What are the odds arena crashes? Hard casting turn timber symbiosis? Oh, look. It's another one. All right. Uh, all right. I guess Royal Science is dead. Fling, please. That's the very master of time. So we're going to discard that. We're going to draw a fling. No. Still going here. Uh... Discard this and draw a fling. Close. Close. Uh, yeah, I mean, it is pretty sick if we just killed the Scoot Swarm, we would have won the game. But <laughs> we didn't. And in our hubris, uh, we have we have failed. Oh man. Nice shock. Idiot. Idiot. Flew too high. I thought it'd be fine. I thought it'd be alright. I really did. I just thought it would be not a problem. Shame Scoop. What a perfect time for you to subscribe to my stream. Thanks, Shame Scoop. Appreciate that. Alright. This hand's fine. I think I might want more. Might, might want more flings. Maybe. All right. Pemple. This is actually a red land. We can keep this. Uh, okay. Improbable Alliance. I like this card a lot. It's a cool card. We're going to bounce it. Sure. It's honestly fine if we play it again next turn, and then we just immediately draw a card and make a token, so... A little more rogues, a little more rogues. Nighthawk Scavenger, card that's very much underperformed so far. I want that. 
All right, make a token. There you go. They're gonna play a, a brood pit tapped. Sure. Yeah, I mean, what else you got? Iron Crag Pyromancer? It's another Brazen Borrower? Yeah, whatever. And they're gonna kill my 1 1. Damn. I like that 1 1 too. Alright, I mean, we play Alliance now. We could play Channeler. We could play. We could, like, just Thrill. Um. I think I'm still interested in playing the Alliance. The question is, do I want to... When do I want to draw? Let me just play Alliance and Channeler, actually. Just say go. So next turn we can, like, Royal Scions draw, make a token, say go, throw on their turn, make a token. Eh? Eh? Alright. Vampire Nighthawk coming in. This card does seem very good against them. Obviously flying blockers make these brazen borrowers look pretty dumb. Alright. Um, so we're probably going to Scions. I just want to Channeler first. See what turns up. Opt in a land. I think we're playing Scions and we're playing Thrill on their turn. Because I want the Opt. We'll discard the Opt of the Thrill so we have more spells in our graveyard. So let's play this. Let's play Royal Scions. Drown in the Lock. I mean, better that than my, my Thrill, right? So. Um, that's fine. Like, now we can't throw on their turn anyway. So maybe we just opt now to get our token rather than risk throwing on their turn and getting encountered. That's fine. All right. Yeah, Scavenger is getting pretty beefy now, unfortunately. Discarding a Planeswalker doesn't really help our cause too much. Oh, they have a ninja? Oh, no. Not the ninja. Anything but the ninja. All right. I mean, I guess. What are they going to get from me? Are they going to get Royal Scions, I guess? Royal Silence plus Ninja is, I mean, this thing's pretty good. Um, we can probably, Royal Silence goes to six, since we can't kill Royal Silence. We can just Teferi and Flicker this thing, though. Let me synthesize the facts. Yeah, maybe I should have blocked. What's up, Joe? What up, Jim? What deck are you most hyped for on release? Um, the ones that function. Had a few issues with that today. Um, I don't know. Um, some cool rampy decks. Hazard. Not really interested in that. Draw. Throw. Okay. And a shock. I mean, that we can just copy shock and kill the trickster now. Which is pretty nice. You can storm call or copy shock. And then we can, uh, I guess, I want to, actually, I want to attack with the channeler to try and almost kill this, uh, the scions. That means we can't. We can. Th we can two. We can thrill actually. Just kind of awkward to thrill and draw off that, but sure. Discarding thrill. 
Uh, Ginger, thanks for the resub. Appreciate that. Or new sub. What's your, what's your name? Where are you from? That's a 4-4. Four, four. Attack this. Stormcaller. Double shock. So there you go. I mean, the Scion's in play for them, but no board doesn't really matter that much. We can just kill it next turn, so. And then we got Riel and Teferi. Scavengers, whatever. Teferi can loot and then flicker this away later. Let us plan for the trials ahead. I mean, if they have another Drown the Lock, things get awkward, but... See what happens. This thing's on two. All right. Um, super awkward, but sure. So we attack the Scions with a 2-1 and 2-1-1s and try and make a blocker for the Scavenger. So we should probably be discarding the Riel. Top cards. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Perfect. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Kill that. They could have Rankle, so I'll leave, what, leave back one. Love it. Blitz is freaking great. Love to see it. Turn it around, folks. We're turning it around. They're going to play a 1-1. One, one. You got it. Another Riel. Also cool. So we're going to Riel and then probably discard Channeler, I guess? I mean, Riel's really good, so... And their mana means they can't even cast Brazen Borrower. All right, we'll do that. Discard Channeler, so we'll draw off Riel and uh, make a token off Alliance. Land and our channeler cards are Alliance or another. How would. How. How can I choose their Nighthawk? Why is this in my piles? Whatever. Um, we're going to Alliance. We're going to Scryland. We don't want to get ninjaed. Um, I'll leave two back. Can't cast borrowers yet either. So, I shoveled the Nighthawk into my deck by mistake. Ah, obviously. Right. Happens. You know, it just happens. It's not a big deal. Yeah, Channel has been really good so far. Uh, definitely really good. Inventory. Somehow we haven't drawn any inventories yet. We're like halfway through our deck. We're going to pitch this to a channeler and start there. Zen Where's? Arpog, you held this brew. It's actually pretty sweet. Thanks for the resubs, everyone. I appreciate it. A channeler. Double draw. Double tokens. Exile. Inventory or hazard. I like inventory here. And I gotta play it now, though. I can't play it on their turn. Sucks. Whatever. Just do it. Just draw, draw some cards. Let's go. Another inventory? <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna send in the clowns here. And then we're gonna play Channeler and Inventory on their turn for two more tokens. Oh, we're gifts and subs. Flame, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. That's awesome. Give him a hand. Thanks, Flame. Good stuff. Good stuff. This is the last deck. This is our 11th deck, but two of them didn't work, so this is actually our 9th deck. Thanks, Flame. I appreciate that. This thing has Flash? I didn't even know that. Uh, okay. So, 
A little ninja vanish here. It's not that bad for us. Which decks didn't work. So I built a deck. Uh, my, my the judges, some of the judges in my my Discord, led me astray a little bit. Um, they said that uh, Offspring's Revenge, the one one token, would have the power bonus from Nighthawk Scavenger, and uh, it did not. That is not how that works. So our first deck was actually non-functional, and then uh, there's a bug with Nahiri's Lithomancy, which means that you can't use it to uh, sacrifice flip lands or spell lands and draw cards. So that didn't work either. So yeah. Oh my god, we are we're drawn. We're drawn cards. We're doing it. Being able to have these sort of uh, these big boom booms is very very nice. What's what's this mana for? Why does he keep asking me to want to tap mana? I have nothing to do with that mana. I got nothing. Nothing at all. They're going to maul my Riel. Um, that solves one of their problems. It does not solve all of them. And they're going to bounce my 4-4. Four -four. Sure. And attack with everything? Whatever. Just trade. I mean, we could just chump and like attack back, but like we'll just trade here. I think it's fine. Like they have three brazen borrowers and, and nothing else. Like how are they ever beating us? Yeah. You know? So we're gonna play. Uh, we're gonna play. Riel. The fairy. We're gonna draw and discard. Discard a thrill. Make some things, draw some cards, do some stuff. Uh, play that. Attack for a bunch. Deck's kind of sweet, honestly. This one's pretty nice. What game is this with this deck? Are we, uh, we're 0 1, I think. Taking rogues to school here. See, we played four Slither Wisp, aka the best card in, a in Ikoria in our, our rogue deck. No one else seems to be doing that. And we crushed. All 10 deck lists will be on coolstuffinc.com on Friday in my article. All 10 deck lists. Even that one. Alright, this card to Fairy. For O2? Okay. Draw for Riel. To Fairy Riel is a nice little synergy. Oh, we do, we do the fling. We have fling, folks. Doesn't actually matter, nor is it necessary, but we're going to do it anyway. Do you want to know why? You want to know why? So you get no, I played the wrong why can't I do anything right today? All right, whatever. It's fine. <laughs> she just can't do anything right today. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. Give it trample. I got everything. Space bar. Space jam. Space jam. Real trample. That's a brazen bar. Yeah, you, you, you can you can play brazen bar. Uh, you can't do much with it. Let's go. Boom. Lethal. Stanley's gift and subs. Thanks, Stanley. I appreciate that. Uh, one more. One more game with this deck. Now it's past midnight. Past midnight. One more deck. One more game. And then I got to build a 10th deck. We got to build our 10th deck. In honor of all the decks that didn't work today. All right. One more game with this deck. One more game. Oh, man. Let's keep this hand's great. This hand's got it all. Temple of Epiphany. Butts of a Thunder Raptor. Eh, I'm gonna bottom that one. We don't know if it's gonna be good or not anyway, and then like this early in the game it's not super great usually, so sure, they don't got anything. Um we're going to play Island Go, and then we'll probably thrill away the Shock on their turn if they don't play anything Shockable, or look like they're playing Shockable things. If they are playing Shockable things, we either Shock it or we'll thrill away a Thrill. Green-White means they're probably playing Thrillable things. Yeah, that's a, that, that's, that's a Shockable. We have Shockable. We have Shockable. We all light it up. We all light it up. Let's go. Let's go. 
Build something simple like Algari Aggro? No. Yes, four, four color. We built a we built a four color Yori and Omnath deck. It was awesome. We crushed people with it. Genesis Ultimatum crushed the mammoth. It's the first mammoth this team cast. Um, so we're gonna thrill, draw a bunch of cards, and then probably just channel her. Um, yeah, sure. Are we thrilled discarding a land? We'll draw more lands for sure. We're drawing three cards this turn. That's a land. Those are also lands. Um, and now we'll just channel her. Good thrill on there. Yeah, just let's get a threat and play. Would like to draw a kill spell. Uh, perhaps that, uh, Blitz on the bottom of our deck. Okay, then we can sneak back up again. Yes, all new subs. Make sure, make sure you join the sub discord. Appreciate all the subs, everyone. Thank you so much. Uh, if you didn't know, it is September. September means that there are discounts on subscriptions for new subs. Um, you can get discounted subs for multiple months and things like that. So if, you ever, if you've been watching for a long time, but you haven't subbed because you don't have the money or whatever it is, need a good reason to sub, that's a good reason, all right? And uh, we are also dirt poor right now. We just bought a kitchen. The kitchens are expensive. So, uh, appreciate all the support as always. What do you get when you sub? Five bucks a month or a free Twitch Prime. Access to my Discord, all the emotes, VODs on demand, holiday cards every year with, with a token. Um, we do things like Survivor Football, NHL playoff brackets. Um, it's a lot of fun. So, hop on in. Don't be shy, all right? All right. We can Scions and have it live through um, a Mammoth attack. Stormcaller is very good. We're going to loot. I enjoy the Discard. Application of knowledge. Um, I think it's just Thrill. So we already have Thrill. Um, and now if we Thrill, we have a 4-4 four, four Channeler, but then we can't... We kind of want the Shatter Skull Smashing. It's not going to be great, though, honestly. Holiday cards are when you're sub during the holidays. You got to be a sub at the time that I collect all, all the addresses, obviously. But, huh. I guess we thrill pitching the Shatter Skull. We'll find a better way to kill this thing. I'm not super worried about it. And that, that works. We can just shock and then copy it. Everyone sub, Jim needs garlic. Garlic, not money. Basically. That's basically how it works. Oh, I was just going to say, don't play a fetch land. All right, well, Royal Silence is dead. Uh, if you want to join the sub Discord, you got to link your Twitch and your Discord uh, via your Discord and your desktop browser. It takes about an hour or two for it to link up. Instructions are in chat. All right, so they have a very large mammoth. Thank you, my friend. Welcome. Seven, seven. Royal Silence is dead. It's not that bad, realistically. Tangled flora thingy. Spike field hazard. So now we're in the awkward spot where this is pretty big, but I kind of want to just draw cards off of it. We just pitch a land here and look at our top two. We're probably playing Stormcaller, copying Shock, and killing this. We can hazard and kill this, but I don't think it's necessary. But I'm going to I'm gonna go for the draw, not the another hazard. All right, let's take the opt. We're going to opt. Bottom. Another Shock. All right. I mean, we're just Stormcaller... Play shock, kill this. Let's just say go. I mean, I'm not really sure exactly what they're up to over there, but they could have the uh, the legendary six drop. That would be really bad for us. Um, I don't have a lot of ways to kill that one, but they play a lance. They don't have that. I 
Could have shocked it and then copied the hazard to kill the 1-1 one, one also. It's the same thing, basically, I guess. Definitely want to draw a Riel or some other larger threat. Oh my god, they are killing my things. That sucks. Uh, this game just got a lot harder. Boom. Wrecked. Oh, come on. Oh, man. All right. They killed my stuff with a land. This one's really good. This one's really, really good. Probably the best one. The black one's pretty good, too, though. All right, what do you got for me? This one overrated? No, they think this, one, this one's good. I think the green one's a little overrated. Um, in non-rampy decks, um, I think they're a little, a little overrated. So they have a one, two, three, four, five. So they have a, a big boomer here. I think we're in trouble, folks. Again, is it decks don't deal with uh, very large creatures very well? This is a very large creature. <laughs> oh, man. This is killing me. This is just getting murdered here. Just murdered. Spike Field Hazard versus Beanstalk Giant. Who would win? Who would win? You know, he draws here. Like. Oh, my God. All right, um, I mean, when it was working, it felt good, but maybe he just like wants Sprite Dragon because flying is really important. Uh, I don't know. Deck definitely felt like it dirtled a bit for sure. Um, like the engines of having like the fairy in play with Improbable Alliance or Riel felt kind of good but at the same time it felt like we were just kind of spinning our wheels a bit um it is possible maybe maybe grixis is better than this i could see that maybe you're actually copying like real kill spells with your stk stormcrawler um i could buy that i could buy that the shocks definitely didn't feel great having to copy a shock to kill a creature feels really bad because now we're just like building our own fdk with two cards that's not good. Um, there's some cool stuff happening here, though. I still think Riel's pretty good. The Bitter Blossom's pretty good, too. I do like this card a lot. Um, I don't know. I'm not really sure. These Izzet decks are always very perplexing. I kind of get the feeling they just want to be more aggressive. It's going to be Sprite Dragons where you want to be. But I'm not sure. What do you know? Let me, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Let me know what your thoughts are in chat. If you're on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe. This is Brew number 10, 9. We got one left. We're going to brew it up live on stream. All the things you YouTube folks miss. Live brews. All right, YouTube folks, I'll see you. Uh, see you. 10 new brews. Coolstuffinc.com. Check it.